An eviction notice has sent one community in Greenwood County scrambling as the first day of school nears. Neighbors of Mulberry Park have until September 15th to find a new place to live. But today they protested for more time. 7 News reporter Tobias Rodriguez has more from Greenwood. As families protested down at the county courthouse for more time before a possible eviction, the school where some of their children go to has now seen how they can help. It's only been a few days since residents at Mulberry Park got this letter saying all mobile home renters and owners have to vacate the property and move by September 15th. I said this other day, it's a slap in the face. Some residents have been trying to figure out what to do next. Today, they decided to protest property owners, JMB Investments, saying 30 days isn't enough time to pick up and move. It takes about six months closing on a property, moving the trailer and getting everything set up on the property so that you can move back into it. And 30 days is nowhere near six months, and we need the time to do this. This week, Greenwood 50 School District found out 15 of their students at Hodges Elementary are impacted by the closing of Mulberry Park. Protesters say they are fighting for their homes and their families. My daughter and my grandson live out there in their own home. I live out there with my son and all these other people. Where are they going to go? What are they going to do? The school district says they are working to see if they can connect families with any community resources available. Those who fear they may become homeless would like the property owners to show some compassion. Did a person with a heart actually kick out 21 families right as school was starting? No, I, I don't think so. There is also a GoFundMe to try and help these families. You can go to our website, WSPA.com, for more information. Reporting in Hodges, Tobacco Rodriguez, 7 News.